Well, Tom, uh, as we've been talking with all the men's and women's coaches today, and, and you come into a perfect situation basketball-wise, you know, the great buzz about this program, what Old Dominion did last year with a big NCAA win, you've got a lottery pick in Larry Sanders, you've got five guys now in the NBA, and on the women's side, nationally recognized player like Elena Deladon and, uh, um, and Dawn Evans, both sides of the equation, I don't think the CAA has been stronger. Well, we were coming off a great year, and you know a lot of uh, growth that's happened on our men's and women's programs both ways. And so we, we come into this season with a, a great deal of excitement and, and hopeful expectations that uh, March will be a special time for us again. I think the mark of how well something is doing is how it grows. This is my 17th year involved with the league as a coach and doing television and radio. And each year, I think it's gotten a little better. I mean, we may not have won as many ever on a given year, but, uh, you know, from the banquet to the tip-off luncheon to everything, it seems to have improved each year. Well, um, thank you, Charlie, because, I mean, I, you know, you, yeah. you've seen it from all sides, from the bench and from the TV booth and everything else. Um, you know, we work, I mean, that's our goal every year, to try to get a little bit better incrementally. Uh, you know, we've had the opportunity to expand television and our media side, which I think translates into better players, uh, stronger teams, you know, postseason, be able to start to attract. Um, I think the kind of, of players and the, the commitments that, that we all desire and, and hope to build. And, but it does start on campus, and, and the institutions have supported their men's and women's basketball programs, and we've recruited, our coaches have recruited good kids. And that uh, I think that's starting to play off. What kind of feedback do you get from your fellow commissioners when we were talking with Blaine Taylor? He was mentioning a, a, a coach's conference that he had been to and, and talking with a coach that wasn't as familiar with the CAA. And when he found out that the sixth place team in the conference had 22 wins, the coach was, was stunned. What kind of feedback do you get from your peers? Well, I think there's uh, nationally a great deal of respect for the conference because of the type of institutions that are in and, and uh, you know, the attitude and the sportsmanship and things that they bring to play. They also know they're tough teams to play, and they're very good and very underrated. You know, we, uh, we live in the shadow of you know, ACC and the Big East and a lot of our markets, and, you know, those are two of the preeminent leagues in the country. Um, and, you know, but when we get in the tournament, you know, we've won a number of games in the NCAA tournament. We hung up another one last year with, with Old Dominion. Um, but even our outs are tough. You know, we've, we've had one-point losses. We've had overtime losses. Um, I think that any time they see a Colonial team pop up on opposite the bracket, they know uh, they're in for a tough game. And then, you know, obviously the George Mason run in 2006 is still a part of American sporting lore, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's tough, tough for some of these coaches to get home games against these good teams. You can come to Syracuse and play us or Kansas oh, yeah. plays, but oh, yeah. we don't want to come down and, and play you guys there. Right? Yeah, you know, the old reference about a guarantee game. You know, and, and, <laughs> right. you know the right. idea is that the visiting team's coming for a check and the home team's expecting a guaranteed win. Now, that, that, we don't see many of those. Well, last year, those guarantees went out, and so did the wins. With yeah. A lot of them, yeah, the yeah, league they came really away did. with some great wins uh, at, 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 all through the league last yeah. year. Where it was As good Tony wins. Shaver found out, I don't think he's invited back to Wake or Maryland anytime uh -huh. soon. No, and, and, you know, that was a, you know, what a great story. And, and you know, great team. And, and, you know, when you see the, the you know, the William Mary kids, you know, at that point last year and, and, and playing. So it was exciting because that's what I think all of us at the core believe in, in college athletics. And, and there's so many of those types of kids, you know, in the league. So when you see them successful, it's right. a special privilege. Now, on the women's side, uh, I don't think Wendy Larry would necessarily agree with this, but it can't be a bad thing that the women's side has kind of opened up as well. As great, and we have to give Wendy Larry all the credit in the world for the dominant program she has built at Old Dominion, but now to see James Madison and now to see Drexel and other teams challenging that top spot bodes very well on the women's side. Well, it does, and, you know, Wendy has always said, come on. You know, I'm, I got my foot to the, you know, to the floorboards. Who else is coming with me? So I think she actually enjoys the fact that uh, you know there are some other teams that are that are becoming very competitive, not only in the league but also nationally. Um, yeah, we have some of the great, the best players in the country, 
that are that are calling home and see. I tell you, you, it's really improving. When I know when I went to, had a couple games up at JMU, I had an opportunity to watch that young lady play, and I mean, she's a real deal. She is really oh. good. Well, you know, when when Dawn and Elena hooked up last year, it was you know, fifty two <laughs> points, thirty eight oh, points, or something, something crazy. Uh, you know, an overtime game. Uh, truly, some of the best players in the country. And you know, it's it's also there are tons of stories, and 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 we can say this throughout the entire conference. But when you see a young woman like Dawn Evans, and she finds out she has a liver ailment, and maybe one day is going to have to face a transplant, but to watch the energy and the passion with which she plays and puts out an effort it is truly amazing and inspiring at the same time. Oh, it truly is, and. Uh, yeah, and, and so many of the student athletes, you know, the quiet stories that you really don't hear, they don't get the big, you know, scandalous headlines kind of thing. But uh, she's a special young lady, and, uh, you know, we're proud that she represents uh, James Madison and the CAA. Tommy, you ought to be very proud too, buddy, because I tell you, this has happened under your tutelage. You've done a great well, job. Well, I, yeah, I organized the parade. You know, they're, they're, <laughs> they're doing all the stuff, so it's been great. Well, Tom, thanks very much, and uh, good luck with another good season. All right, Al, Charlie, we'll see you on courtside.